Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, we are going to continue Chapter 5 Chemical Bonding by learning intermolecular forces in Lesson 30. We want to describe intermolecular forces, hydrogen bonding and explain the effects of it on boiling point, solubility and density of water compared to ice. Hydrogen bonding is an attraction force between the positively charged hydrogen atom of a molecule and the negatively charged electronegative atom of another molecule. For example, between F and H, O and H, or N and H. Let's look at example 5.28 where you have to draw and show hydrogen bonding in hydrogen fluoride molecules. So let's draw HF, a linear compound, and next to it is another linear compound of HF. Between F and H, there would be hydrogen bonding. Okay, this is what you have to write down in your course book, page 153, hydrogen bond. In water molecules, we are going to have more hydrogen bonds since this is the electronegative part of water at the oxygen atom and here is the bonding pairs of electron connected to the two hydrogen atom. Beside that compound, there is another molecule of water and you can see here that it is going to form a hydrogen bonding there and here we also have another compound okay the electropositive part of the water and it is also connected to this molecule using hydrogen bond and another part You can see that for one molecule of water, it is possible to have as much as four hydrogen bonding. This is the hydrogen bonding, this is the hydrogen bonding, this is the hydrogen bonding, and this is also the hydrogen bonds. For ammonia, we're going to draw the trigonal pyramidal like this. And you can see that the electronegative part of N is going to be connected to the electropositive part of hydrogen in another molecule. So this is where the hydrogen bond is here are more examples whereby hydrogen bonding is formed between H and O, H and N, and H and F. Now let's look at the effects of hydrogen bond on physical properties. For example, the boiling point, the solubility of simple covalent molecules, and the density of water compared to ice. This is figure 5.11 whereby we show you the boiling point of the hydrates of elements in group 14 to 17. It turns out that the boiling points of hydrates of group 14 elements, CH4, SiH4, GEH4 and SNH4 displays normal behavior. 
the type of intermolecular forces exist are only van der Waals forces, hydrogen bonds are not present, the boiling point increases regularly when the relative molecular mass increases because the van der Waals forces increase as the molecular size increases. For hydrates of group 15, 16 and 17 elements, except NH3, H2O and HF, hydrogen bonds are not present. So the increase in the boiling points for the hydrates of each periodic group is due to the increase in van der Waals forces as the molecular size increases. But the strength of hydrogen bond is proportional to the polarity of the bond. HF is the most polar since fluorine is the most electronegative atom, followed by H2O, followed by ammonia. However, the boiling point increases in such an order whereby H2O has the highest boiling point, followed by HF, followed by NH3. Why is that so? Even though fluorine is most electronegative, H2O has higher boiling point because there are four hydrogen bonding per molecule of water compared to only two hydrogen bonding per molecule for hydrogen fluoride. Hydrogen fluoride has higher boiling point than NH3 because of the stronger hydrogen bond of HF. Now, let's look at the effects of hydrogen bonding on the solubility. Water is a good solvent. It can form hydrogen bonds with most of polar molecules. For example, ammonia is soluble in water because ammonia molecule can form hydrogen bonds with water. This is an example whereby the ammonia can easily become soluble in water because it forms hydrogen bonds. But most organic compounds are insoluble in water. The ones that are soluble in water is amines, for example, ethylamine, alcohols, for example, ethanol, and carboxylic acid, such as ethanoic acid. Amines are soluble in water because of the amino group that can form hydrogen bonds with water molecule. This is to show the hydrogen bonding formed between the positively charged and the negatively charged parts of water with a primary amine. Alcohol and carboxylic acids are soluble in water because the hydroxy groups in the compounds can form hydrogen bonds with water. However, not all organic compounds that contain amino or hydroxy groups are soluble. As the relative molecular mass increases, the nonpolar hydrocarbon portion becomes larger. Since hydrocarbons are insoluble in water, the solubility decreases as the relative molecular mass of the organic compound increases. The hydrocarbon part is the R. The bigger the R, the less soluble the alcohol is in water. Now let's look at the effects of hydrogen bonding on the density of water and ice. Water is unusual because of its ability to form an extensive hydrogen bonding network. When cooled to a solid, the water molecules organize itself into an arrangement which maximizes the attractive interactions of the hydrogen bonds. This arrangement of molecules has greater volume, which is less dense than liquid water, thus water expands when frozen. Water arrange themselves in such a way to maximize the amount of hydrogen bonding between them. They leave a relatively large amount of space between them and gives rise to an open structure. 
the three D structure of the covalent bonds and the hydrogen bonds in ice is shown in the figure below. In the upper image, you can see that water molecules are relatively close together in a liquid form. But when it becomes solid, the dotted lines represent the hydrogen bonding. They arrange themselves, the molecules arrange themselves, so that it becomes an open structure that has a less density compared to the liquid form. The open structure of ice accounts for the fact that it is less dense than water at zero degrees Celsius. So when ice melts, some of the hydrogen bonds are broken. This allows the water molecules to be more compactly arranged, resulting in a 9% decrease in volume. Therefore, water has a higher density than ice. This is another diagram to show how on the left you can see the loose hydrogen bonds formed for the liquid and on the right you can see that the hydrogen bond is formed in a rigid hexagonal crystal lattice structure which is making a lot of open space and large gaps so that they would be having less density. Okay, in this graph, you can see that the maximum density of water is at the temperature of 4 degrees Celsius. This is the temperature of our refrigerator in the kitchen. And that is why ice is less dense than water. Ice would be formed on the top of a lake and this man here is fishing. It's really interesting how water is created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's all and thank you for watching. See you again soon. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.